On this wonderful day of homemaking, my due date today, I am just starting off the morning getting some bone broth strained from a whole chicken I had made the night before and just really kind of having things prepared and prepped a little bit. And then, of course, I have to do a little dusting as, you know, it's 8.30 in the morning and, and the, the need just came upon me to dust my blinds a little bit. And it's supposed to be such a beautiful day on this wonderful spring May day. Um, but I just love having clean windows and that really brings me joy in my home and it's hard to do sometimes especially when you live on a dirtier road and live in a windy state but that is life things happen things get dirty and you just find the joy in doing it again I love this time of year as I start my jam making. So I have a neighbor who I get some rhubarb from and then I just use some frozen strawberries to make some strawberry rhubarb jam. Now this is a different style of jam making as it's a hot pack method. Um, that can be frowned upon as it doesn't go into a hot water bath, but I have had no issues with doing it last year and you know if it didn't seal fruit smells rancid so it definitely has worked for me well um if you don't want to risk it definitely do the hot water bathing but i just have four cups of the rhubarb and strawberries some ginger some cinnamon and it's sweetened with honey so it's really pretty simple and then a low sugar pectin and it just made a few little jars and i just love having the fresh jam on my shelves and being able to have something homemade to serve my family. So I thought I would share a little bit of a garden update. I have five rows of potatoes on this uh, side of the garage here. So I have three red potatoes, two russets, and then these are the tomato plants I had from my seed tray starter. And then I have some, the sprinklers going, so I don't wanna get too close. Some cabbage there, and then some broccoli, and then four, no, five rows of onions. So I have two white and three red. And this is just one of my garden areas. So trying to keep it hoed and wet because we've been pretty dry. Um, we did have a little sprinkle last night, but I just wanted to share that garden with you. The other ones I did get planted last week, so I'm excited about that, to have all of that in before baby comes here, since I'm on baby watch right now. Keeping a welcoming space outdoors is also important to me. So just sweeping the rug and making sure it's inviting and welcoming is something I try to strive to do in the spring and summer months. And I did do a video on my patio decor if you want to check that out. And then of course, it's just a simple lunch of leftover roast, potatoes, and asparagus. So here is my cottage style garden right next to our garage. I added this little extension of rock and then a couple weeks ago I put in these little stepping stones all the way through just to make it fun for people and kids to walk through. I didn't know sage could bloom but it's really pretty and yeah this is sage not Russian sage but sage that you can cook with. And it smells delicious right next to cat mint, of course, and then bee balm. So all of those three do have a scent. And then, of course, my giant cat mint back there that is in full bloom with a butterfly on it. 
my daisies are starting to bloom. I want to say that's like a ground cover lavender. I have annual seeds in there like cosmos and zinnias and some more daisies as well. This is hopefully going to fill in here. My rose bush I transferred from um, back there a little ways and it is not doing so well, but it is blooming. Some peach, like a creamy peach color. I don't, I'm hoping it comes out of this funk here because these leaves are looking awful. Okay, then here's what we ended up doing. We originally were gonna move the garden shed, but we didn't have time to get that moved before I wanted to get planting done. So I have three rows of corn, sweet corn, then some green beans, one row green beans, and one row of radishes right there. So I'm hoping it should get enough sunlight. Uh, definitely should get more than it did last year as we cut down seven trees in our yard. And then the aquaponics is going right there. My husband's been working diligently every night on getting the grow beds up. There'll be one more grow bed, then the fish tanks will be right there. And then this is more of my squash garden. So I have I have some carrots there that I built some haphazard teepees. I need to fix those a little bit. Then I have some of my started pumpkins in the back there and some squashes and we'll get a welded fence to go around that way that's about four foot tall. That way it has stuff to grow up because I did risk it and I put carrots right there. So I'm hoping they do okay and get enough sunlight as well. But I still haven't put in peppers or snap peas yet. So I'm definitely on baby watch being absolutely 40 weeks pregnant right now. And so um, I did get a video filmed earlier, but I'm just gonna go in, check on Nevea. She's napping. I might take a nap myself. Um, just kind of, it's, it's about 80, 85 out today. So I've been enjoying the outdoors this morning. And so we'll see what we do this afternoon. But I wanted to just update you on all of that as we are awaiting this little new one to come soon. Okay, so I had the urge to clean my vehicle out, so I did, and Nevea was really good and just played in the garage while I vacuumed it out and wiped it down just to get some of the prints and dust off of there as well. I just used a vinegar dawn and water solution to get that off. And then I also thought it wouldn't be a bad idea to pack in some summer items like extra pair of clothes and underwear and things like that for a little girl, a beach towel, some toys, just things to have on hand for when we go out and about and if we happen to end up at a park or a beach, extra water, wipes, you know, all those little things, bug spray that you may end up needing that you forget about. Pulling is a never-ending job and I love to keep my front landscape looking tidy. So it's time to set the table for supper and I really do enjoy having a nice looking dinner table. We use cloth napkins every evening when we eat. The bouquet of flowers was a gift from my husband for my birthday a couple weeks ago and they're still thriving. So just having a nice setting so that we can sit down as a family and enjoy a meal together. And tonight was just a chicken Mexican casserole bake, just something I kind of threw together. And just something that was quick and easy, especially since we were outside and having a busy, wonderful spring day. My evening project was to add some more branches to my cucumber teepees. And I did this last year and I just loved how the cucumbers grew up my teepees and it made it super easy to pick and find them instead of them taking over all of the ground area.
little more hoeing, some smelling of my flowers in my cottage flower garden, and just enjoying the beauty of the evening with our dog, and honestly, just anticipating the arrival of this new little one whenever she decides to come. So I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day, and I'll talk with you in my next video.